Hello friends, in this tutorial we will see how to work with ArtMap. To install ArtMap you have to first install docker and then execute the command docker-compose-up. After suc successfully executing this command you will see a message saying server listening on port 3000. So to run ArtMap you have to open your genome browser and go to a URL called localhost colon 3000. The interface for ArtMap is very simple. It will ask you to provide information in four different steps. In the step one, it will ask you in about information of format of your data. Your data can be in BAM format, Remember, this is not the uh, alignment format. It is the raw sequencing file obtained from a uh, sequencing facility, which sometimes comes either in BAM format or in the FASTQ format. In our case, the files are in BAM format. So I will choose BAM format. The second question it will ask is about the length of the read. So it can be long read. It can be short read. In our case is short read which is less than 100 base pair I will go for short read and then it will ask about the type of data data can be of paired end as well as uh, single end so in our case it's a single end data set so I will choose single end then it will ask about the data input where are the files present and where do you want to store the result and what will be the name of the output file so if it is a uh, single end data, it will ask you to upload single control and mutated file. However, if the data set is in the paired end, then it will ask you to upload two pairs of control and two pairs of mutant file. In our case, the data is in single end. So we'll just upload single control file and single mutant file. To upload single control file, you have to click on this select file option. And you have to scroll down to the folder name shared folder. So shared folder is important because if you look back your Docker compose file, you have shared, in our case, we have shared drive C in the folder C. You can change this volume information to specifically share only one folder, not share the whole drive, and it will be fine too. But here you have to uh, assign the path of that folder. But in our case, most of the cases, if you just share the whole C drive, is will be visible in the shared folder. So you have to click on shared folder. Then in our case, it's the whole C drive, so you have to go to user username and our file is present on the download folder so we go for downloads here we have made a special test folder we will go to test folder in which we will have a control file as well as mutant file so i will choose click on control for the first control file and say okay for the mutant file we do the same go to the shared folder users username downloads test mutant okay where do you want to store we want to store in the same folder so we'll go the to shared folder user username downloads test okay and I would like to name it as test file. So say test. There is this additional settings which if you click, you can see that you can turn off, on and off the quality control as well as PCR uh, removal step. You can turn on, turn on and turn off by clicking it. You can also change the filter of the sequencing, filter the filter by sliding it. You can also change the uh, threshold frequency by sliding it. But the default parameters, it works very well.
After this, you will just click Submit. The pipeline will start processing. So for each step, you will see there is a progress bar which will be increasing from 0% to 14, 28, and up to 100. And if you can click on this uh, conversion, the process which is running will be shown as uh, rotating circles. If you click on this, you will see what script is running and where it is storing. One very important thing about this uh, whole process is, is the uh, input of the data. If you go back to the data input, you can see that in the path of, uh, of the control or mutant file, each folder is without spaces. So I cannot name my folder as test space RNA sec. No, there should not be any spaces. Otherwise, you will end up in a trouble uh, where the processing bar will be stuck at 0% and it will not move because it will be, now in this case, it is moving to 7% because one of the file is being, I mean, converted. But in situations where the progress bar is not moving at all, there might be an issue uh, in the name of the folder which might contain spaces because the quality control process which we uh, do, we use Tremomat. Uh, and it uses a, a cut adapt, which does not allow to process for the folders where there is a spaces. So instead of spaces, you can name the folder without spaces like shared folder. In this case, there is no space between them or you can put a underscore. This is really important. Go back to processing. Now, both the control and mutant file has been converted from BAM to FastQ. And you will see a message saying script finish with exit code 0. So exit code 0 means that there is no error during this uh, script. But if there is an exit code 1, then there is an error. And we need to check what, what is the error. And we need to resolve it. After completion of the run, the result of the analysis is presented in the form of scatter plots. Since Arabidopsis has five sec chromosome, there will be five plots for one for each chromosome. In the scatter plot, the x-axis represents location of the EMS-induced mutation, whereas y-axis represents the frequency of the EMS-induced mutations. The annotation detail of each mutation can be uh, access by moving the cursor to the mutation which are represented as green dots and the details will be uh, highlighted on the screen. You can also zoom into these mutations by selecting them and also you can zoom out. Moreover, you can also download the graphs each of these graphs by clicking on this download button. You can also access the intermediate file coming from each step of the ArtMap analysis from the folder where you uh, asked ArtMap to store the art output. All the intermediate files are stored in this folder and there is a file which is named after your output. This file will contain all the information necessary for the final mutation along with its corresponding frequency, depth, annotation, as well as if there is any amino acid change, if it is any. Finally, thank you all for using ArtMap 